All right, welcome everybody. This is Brandon from the Old School Game Vault, and we're going to do another video on how to spot, counterfeit, our bunk Game Boy Advance games. Um, I've done a couple videos on how to spot fake Pokemon games. Um, I do have a Pokemon Leaf version right there. Um, I just kind of got these games in. I've never gotten so many Mario games in before that were counterfeit, so I kind of want to show them off to everybody, to get everybody, you know, kind of looking. Uh, so here we go. I got this one in. Here's Yoshi's Island. Um, as you can see, this label's kind of reflective. That's that's pretty much all these games are. The labels really, for me, kind of caught me off guard because they just didn't look right. They look very metallic, very shiny. Um, but we're going to kind of go into a few other tips here. Um, another thing that kind of caught me off here is the Yoshi's Island. There's no Nintendo seal. Generally, these games, uh, you know, should have a Nintendo seal right here. So, um, you know. Like a real one, you're going to have your Nintendo seal right down there. Um, another thing about the labels are, in all Game Boy Advance games, um, you're going to have some numbers imprinted right here. So, for example, you're going to have like maybe 13 or something there. Or you could have like letters A, G, A, B. But they're going to be imprinted into the label. So, you can always tell if there's a number there. If there's no number, then you're, you're probably looking at a fake game. But you just see how that looks just kind of strange to me. Well, of course, there's no label. Um, we'll go here to... To this one, uh, you got again. This doesn't look anything like the original label. I mean, they put in, they put the extra characters on there, um, around there. It doesn't look like it at all. But uh, I mean, you can tell like how this this one's, it's this just wants to peel right up. The label does. Um, yet again, there's no numbers printed on it. Um, Mario Kart. Um, well, actually, the seal's on the wrong side for Mario Kart. Seal should be right over here. Um, but yet again, the label's weird. Look, the label wants to even come off. Um, let's see what else we got here. Super Mario Advanced, yet again, same situation. Uh, here's a Pokemon. Um, you can see that's really metallic. I've done Pokemon before, but I got it in a leaf green. So those are, you know, the, really the kind of labels. Labels, when I saw those, I was like, whoa, these are counterfeit. Um, then, uh, so then what we'll do, we'll just do, if you really want to know for sure, you got them, you're questionable, just open them up. All right. So this is the inside of uh, the Yoshi's Island there. And as you can see, they got this like little black circle thing. Uh, I'm not really quite sure what that black circle thing is supposed to be, but they're not in the regular Nintendo games. I guess really, you know, telltale sign again, there's Nintendo's not printed on the board. If you look at a real Game Boy Advance cartridge, you see the lettering Nintendo. This one's got no Nintendo. And it looks like it's got a bunch of holes on it. See these holes right there in the pins? All those little holes? I have no idea what those are. Um, but those shouldn't be there. So when you have a real you know, Game Boy, look. Look how gold and nice it looks. It says Nintendo. Um, if you look at the chip right here, see the chip says MX. All Game Boy Advance chips inside the cartridges will say MX on them somewhere. Now when you look at this counterfeit one, the, the bunk one, um, no MX. Um, actually, matter of fact, this is a Sony chip. Um, I haven't seen that before. Uh, it says Sony right there. So yeah, these are these are definitely some signs that this is some counterfeit this uh, going on. Um, so that's that. That's what to watch out for. So if you open them up, no Nintendo. I mean, look at that. No Nintendo, nothing. Here's a real one. So you can clearly tell the difference for you. Um, so I just want to kind of you know show everybody these uh, counterfeit counterfeit games we got in. Here's the inside of the Mario Kart. Like, they even put a, the battery, like, over that black thing. So, once again, you know, it's the same situation as, you know, the other fake one. Um, and also, these cartridge shells, they're a little grayer than the typical Game Boy Advance games. I really can't show you on the camera and in the light. It doesn't really show any, look any difference. But, um, but anyhow, these are, uh, these are how to spot some more of the counterfeit games. I also just got a Zelda in. And the Zelda game in, I got, uh, what, the Four Swords? Um, same same rules apply. I mean, you look like all these games. So anyhow, I'm Brandon from the Old School Game Vault. Just keep an eye out for these fake games because they're really seriously popping up. Uh, they're popping up, you know. I get them in all the time. Um, so anyhow, Brandon from the Old School Game Vault. Check out my blog, man. If you love video games, retro stuff, reviews, current gen stuff, I got tons of articles on there, like hundreds of hours of video game literature because we love video games and I hope you love video games too. Um, anyhow, we also buy video games, so if you want to sell us video games, we buy everything from old school stuff to new school stuff through oldschoolgamevault.com. Otherwise, take care, watch out for these bunk cartridges, 
Don't be afraid to subscribe or smash that like button. All right, take care.